guys and welcome to the summit. Hope you guys like that little skit there at the beginning. You may wonder why I'm a little bit off to the side. Today I have a special guest on Zach vs. the Blu-ray Mountain. Hold on a second. Ladies and gentlemen, the camera lady. Dragon Ball Evolution. Dragon Ball Evolution is directed by James. Wrong director for this movie. Wait. James Wong, and it's about Aang. He is an avatar, and he's set to be the next, you know, avatar. Wait, that's the wrong movie. You know, that reminds me of something. Am Not Shyamalan's The Last Airbender is about 50 fucking times better than this movie. I can't do this. I can't do it. Come on. I can't. I can get you some sensor beans, it'll be okay. Mmm, sensu beans. <laughs> <sighs> Let's start with what's good about this movie. There's good things about this movie? <laughs> well, before you rip it apart, you should compliment it. <laughs> On a serious note, I'm actually a fan of James Marsters in this movie. James Marsters played Piccolo. And in my opinion, some of the best film scenes in this movie involve Piccolo, even though they're almost all completely wrong. And did you notice that one scene where he's like yelling, he sounds exactly like the guy that voices Piccolo from the anime? No, I didn't catch that one. He sounds exactly like Piccolo. Like, completely. I'm mm -hmm. thinking it's almost audio dubbed. Audio dubbed. <laughs> James Marsters. I love Joan Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And this Brainiac on Smallville. That's still not enough to redeem you for being in this pile of shit. This movie's really fucking bad, guys. <laughs> it's really fucking bad. I like Chow Young Fat as Master Roshi. I actually thought that he was having, you know, a little bit of fun with the role, you know, even though this movie probably ruined his career because I don't remember seeing him in anything after this. What are your thoughts on Chow Young Fat as Master Roshi? Um, I agree with what you said, but uh, they made Master Roshi look like a complete idiot. Well, he is a pervert. They didn't play that up enough for my, my liking. You know how much we care about this movie? She didn't even memorize the notes. Alright, so let's start with the opening of this movie. Lots of CGI sweat. Sweaty Justin Chatwin. Not Goku. Justin, not Goku, Chatwin. And there's height rope sequence. Which works in anime, not in a live-action fucking movie. Oh, and not with a 70-year-old man. Some of those scenes where he's completely upside down, I'm like, oh my god, what the fuck am I watching? Okay. okay, so I wanted to point out something. Um, Eyes. Look at the camera. I'm not the camera. I don't like this. <laughs> what did you want to point out? Tell everybody what you wanted to point out. You're being creepy. I'm extremely creepy. All the time. All day, every day. 24-7. Somebody's <laughs> got to do it. I learned that from daytime TV. Fuck you, not Yamcha Yamcha. Okay, so... <laughs> Grandpa Gohan in the anime dies when Goku is like five, and he is the only person that Goku has ever had contact with. He doesn't even know what a girl is. Yamcha doesn't go... Not Yamcha. Goku doesn't go to high school. Goku doesn't want to get the girl. Goku is a pacifist. Goku doesn't get into fights on purpose. I will say that one fight sequence with him and that That was actually pretty cool. Guys, that was probably one of the very few glimmers you see of Goku through this whole movie. No, that was him. one of the glimmers of a good movie in this whole movie. <sighs> is, uh, Should we talk about Piccolo? The character of Piccolo? The character of Piccolo? Yes. Piccolo is one of my favorite characters ever. I have a pop figure right behind her of Piccolo. He is amazing. Where the fucker is Tantanus? He's not wearing a turban. They covered almost all of his body just to do 17 hours of f freaking molding on a head. That the a head. You, you failed to mention the fact that the character is, is wrong. He's not a warlord trapped in the earth. He is all of the bad in Kami. Who, who is character in the anime for those of you who don't, don't watch. <laughs> Whose idea was it to get the director of the Final Destination movies, the first one and the third one, to do this? 
And you were saying something about the Wachowski brothers. Perfect. They would be perfect for this movie if they had a good writer or team of writers to write it. The Wachowski brothers would be perfect for a Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z movie. Just think about it. They love building huge worlds. They like cool characters. The Matrix. Even Jupiter Ascending. What did you think of the Chi Chi dream sequence? No. Here's some fruit, Goku. Yeah, no, with the flowers oh, and then... Oh my no. god. In the, in the no. Justin Chatwin going like this. Oh. Yamcha's not blonde. We haven't gotten to Yamcha yet. <laughs> Chill out on the Yamcha. In the anime, Goku is a martial arts prodigy because of the fact that he's a Saiyan. There's no mention of Saiyan. There's no mention of Great Ape. There's this Uzaru... Demon bullshit that's not right no. and wrong completely. The only thing that's right is when Piccolo tells him that he is the demon, but he's not a demon, he's a Saiyan, and he calls him a human, but yet he comes from space. He's not a human. If this movie was actually right at all, Goku would still have a tail. And I'm just glad that this movie is based on Dragon Ball and not Dragon Ball Z, because I do not want to know what they would have done to Vegeta. Thank God this isn't about Dragon Ball Z. I actually really enjoyed the Balma character, even though she's plainly Balma. I don't think anyone ever called her Balma. She introduces herself to, to Goku at one point. Once. Then no one ever calls her Balma again. And you notice there actually was an attempt at a little bit of character development mm -hmm. with not Yamcha and Balma. I'm trying to, there's that relationship that's in that the anime. That they had in the anime. That's real. It happened. Look it up. Watch Dragon Ball. Because it's amazing. Uh, missing characters. Let, let's name them all. Name, name all the missing characters? I want you to name them all because we've discussed this quite a few times. Well, I'll name all the ones that I can remember right now. Okay. Tien. Krillin. Chatsu. Oh, God. Oh, so many characters. The Ox King. Um, Why well, didn't even think about that one? Yes. Keep going. My shoe, peel off. Technically, um, we think Mai was in this movie. I think she's Piccolo's right-hand woman. Even though she's never given a name. That, that's their attempt at Mai. She looks like Mai, in my opinion. Monks were in this movie. There was a tournament. They had at least three opportunities to introduce Tien. Tien's not in the movie. Where the fuck is Tien? I'm more concerned about Krillin. They're both bald. <laughs> They're both bald. Where the fuck is Tien? Yes, yes, but Krillin is not always bald. All right. What do you think were the your absolute the absolute worst scene in this movie, if you had to pick one? Well, that means let me just quote a couple of things. He told me to tell you that Piccolo has returned. Now I end it. The Kamehameha wave is not how you do the Kamehameha wave. Put your hands behind your back. Come here, ma'am! There! Release the power! It's not what I'm doing! I can't do this anymore! You have to agree, the Kamehameha wave parts. Just terrible. That's, just... that's not even my biggest issue with this entire movie. Goku was resurrected with the Kamehameha wave, because that totally happened. Okay, what? The worst scene in this movie for me was that first interaction between Roshi and Goku. Out of this entire movie. That was your thing. Out of this whole shitastic experience. That, that is a beautiful word for this, <laughs> this whole thing. I know, right? Star Wars, really? <laughs> Anything else you'd like to add? Don't bother. Don't ever watch this movie. <laughs> watch any of the ten Dragon Ball movies that they made over this. Don't ever see this movie. This movie was given to me as a gag gift. I didn't want this movie. I don't even know what I'm going to do with it now that I have it. I'll probably burn it. Uh, at least we know that we're going to go see a really awesome movie tomorrow. Yes. Dragon Ball Resurrection F. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. You didn't talk about your perfect ending. Oh, 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 my God. The end credits in this movie. It's the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> so creepy. The Japanese chick, who has no name, is walking around her house, she's making like this healing concoction or whatever, and she goes back, and you see this body lying on a bed covered in, with a blanket, and she dabs the head, 
and all of a sudden, Piccolo rolls over, saying, Holy shit, there's gonna be a fucking sequel! But he's got this really, really creepy, I'm gonna rape you look on his face. Like, yeah, bitch, I'm wait, gonna wait. rape you tonight. Wait two seconds. Here, Mr. Green Alien Man, come back to my house, I know nothing about you. Let, let me mop your face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, 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 but. This would have been the perfect end credit scene. Okay, check this out. Space, even though they got it completely wrong at the beginning. It actually looked kind of cool. Space, they show it, you see nothing for a while, and all of a sudden you see these ship, this ship coming. And you go inside the ship, you see a figure cloaked in darkness. That's pretty fucking metal right there, right? So anyway, you go into the darkness a little more, and all of a sudden you see this big muscular body, and all of a sudden you see Raditz. Raditz. The older Raditz. brother. <laughs> the older brother Raditz. of Kakarot. And he's coming to get him to end Earth. Mahogany. <laughs> How fucking awesome would that have been? If you like this video, let me know down in the comments. Hit like, share, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I've been Zach. This is the camera lady. We'll be back for Resurrection F. Until next time, this has been Zack vs. the Blu-ray Mountain. Stand metal, my friends.